Given that alpha is between pi over 2 and pi, and cosine alpha is minus 3 fourths, find the value of sine 2a. Sine 2a is a double angle, so we need to rewrite this in terms of um, just alpha instead of 2 alpha. To do this, we can use a formula from the formula booklet, and we will use the sine double angle identity. So sine 2a can be written, rewritten as 2 sine alpha cosine alpha. This now makes it a lot easier to start rewriting sine 2 alpha in terms of numerical values. Since we already know the numerical value of cosine alpha, we already have one part of this figured out. So now we need to figure out how to isolate and get sine alpha. We can do this by using the information that we know. So cosine alpha can be squared, so we can square both sides, and then we can use a Pythagorean identity. So we can rearrange the identity found in the formula booklet to get uh, cosine squared equals 1 minus sine squared. So then we can rearrange this equation and we get that sine equals square root of 7 over 4. So we can now rewrite sine 2a purely in terms of numerical values. So we write 2 times the value of sine a, sine alpha, which is square root of 7 over 4, and then cosine alpha, which is minus 3 over 4. So in the end, we get sine 2 alpha is minus 3 square root of 7 over 8. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching, and I hope I helped you with this question.